Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know why we need to. Yeah, it's probably on its last uh, legs. Okay, so. The even if time is, we started at the at the end of the last Arab Shabbos. We started footnote Reish Ayin Dalid on the bottom of Kuf Samaches. Let's just review for a minute from the beginning of that note Reish Ayin Dalid on the bottom of Kuf Samaches. Klipus in Yonam Lahas, there is Amita, as Hashem is Bachel, it's Hail Adama, it's Kilu Yesh, Bailam Kirk, as Hashem has a song. This clip that we've been talking about, this this covering, this concealment, this shell. Of course, Hashem created for the purpose of giving us free choice and making decisions in our lives. And using the kaiches that we have to opt for the truth and to see beyond that shell. But the the klipa is that which misrepresents reality in such a way that there's this kaichadimian, that our imagination is kilu. There are other kaiches in the world besides Hashem. That are drawing us to do things that we shouldn't do. And the the strong attraction of the dimion of imagination of the klipa is that the klipa convinces a person that that if he indulges in this in this in the in this activity in this avera whatever it might be that that's going to be that's going to bring him be'emes toiv and tano that's going to be good. Enjoy. And the dimion, the delusion in all of this is, Kilu, there is some tov other than doing what Hashem wants us to do. Kilu, there's some other tov. There's another way to experience tov. Oh, that means that the person has chosen a path where the where the klipas seem to have a koach of their own, and he and he continues the person continues along that path, seeking more and more pleasure from that world of demyonis, that world of delusion. Even though the truth, of course, is ain't al melvado. Man has a choice as far as what is it that he's thinking and how he interprets reality. And a person has made the decision to live in that virtual reality of Teva. Kilu Teva has this independent existence. That can that can give the person all of the pleasures that it seems to be offering. As I So then, the more it seems to him that that's the reality. The more he buys into that virtual reality, over time, 
it seems like it's actual. That's that's reality. It's not just a, a studio. It's not just a Hollywood production, but it's it's the real thing, and the person becomes tied down to that to that virtual reality and lives a life seeking more and more tanugim that can, that that at the end never ever give him that tanugim that tov that he that he thought he would get. So this is where up to our page of Samach test. The note continues. And and because of this, the Klippas have this cause to cause a person tremendous tzar. Because as long as the person is falling for this, and he has all of these expectations of what this, of what Teva, of what the Klippa promises him, as I bedachia Teva, yochalov al adam tzar. Bedachia Teva, the person's life is filled with tzar. And that's the way of this world of Teva and everything when, when, when all that we ever studied and all that we ever saw is that the Mahalach of Teva is that that which is strong causes pain to that which is weak. And if a person is weak and he falls for this virtual reality of Teva, the Teva becomes in his life something which is which is very powerful and controls his life, takes over his life as far as, uh, as far as uh, his type is concerned, simply takes over his life. On the other hand, a person who chooses to enter into a world into a world of emuna, to 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 live a life of emuna. Of reality, as I use zeichel liros as kol mashakari ba'olam, and he's able to see. It's like he's able to see that this is that this is like a Hollywood set. Mm. So he's able to see that this is that this is something that's that. The Mabakavo, he looks at it from he looks at it from a higher perspective. Remember, I, Chanukah, I was talking a little bit about something that we've discussed many many times over the years that Yehuda Taton Yehuda Ilo. And when a person says Shema, he covers his eyes. And he, and he, when he covers his eyes, he, he doesn't look at the klipa. He's not. He's, he stops for a second to look at the world from that from that lower case virtual reality of the klipa. He covers his eyes and he enters into a place of Hashem Echad. Of Yichudi Ilo, and in that in that place, from that perspective of Yichudi Ilo, when he's in that, when he's in that emes, that truth of of Yichudi Ilo, so then he sees as Kol Mashakari Ba'olam. He sees the he sees the truth, from Mabak Ba'olam, but from he sees it from a mountaintop, from a different perspective. He sees it in a completely different way. And then he sees that everything is everything's from Hashem. This is all set up a certain way. It's all Mushgach and Hashem. The truth is that the Avera itself falling for the for the Klipa, for the snake, for the Dimyan, is itself the worst punishment. Because if a person falls for it, and he goes for the Avera, that means that he is born into this Sheker. He's born into this, into this virtual reality. There is something that's by the, that, that there's something that really, that the Klippas have something, to, something real to offer him. Something deep, meaningful, lasting, to offer him, and that's the worst thing of all. That's the ikar ha'aynish. That's the worst punishment of all. Shall not follow mabat shall that the person has fallen into this, into this mabat, into this, 
into this uh, into, into this virtual reality. He's fallen into this make believe make believe world. And and it gets worse because when the person buys into that, he gives more and more koch to the klipas. And the more, just like with any addiction, the more the klipas take control of his life to the point that he doesn't feel that he has any choice other than other than that that, that make-believe world that the klipas has, has presented to him, has offered him. That's really what an addiction is. Ulitzar also. The person has tremendous tsar. He has all of these hopes and expectations. All that he believes in is that these desires, if they're fulfilled, think they're going to bring him tremendous tava, tremendous pleasure. The more he believes in that, and the more that he acts upon those those beliefs, the stronger the klipa, the thicker the klipa gets, and the greater is the pain and the disappointment of the of that addiction that he has to the uh, to the Hollywood set. And then the person sinks deeper and deeper into that, into that make believe into that make believe world. Because Teva becomes Teva, that 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 picture that Teva offers becomes stronger and stronger. It's being fed by our delusions. It's being fed by our delusions. The more you believe in that delusion, the stronger the delusion, the stronger the animal, the, the monster becomes. The more you believe in it, the more you buy into it, the stronger it becomes. Again, like cigarettes and alcohol and everything else. The stronger the monster becomes, the more you believe that this is going to provide you with, it, with, the, with what you need. With what you need. They even call it in English. I, mean, I don't know, you know wh- when it began, maybe in the 60s, but it's been used for a long time. The person gets a fix, right? A lotion of a fix. When the truth is, it's just the opposite. The person is, is that person is destroying his life. But the, 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 the belief that that person has is that this is somehow a fix. It's fixing something. But of course it's destroying the thing. And when he's able to get out of it with tremendous pain and siyata deshmaya and usually costs a lot of money and looking behind at the family that he destroyed and the Yiddish guy that he destroyed. When he looks back at it and he sees that he thought this was this 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 overpowering, invincible um, beast is just is is mamish. A dimmy palm. It's just wind. Havel havel. That's all. And the greatest proof again that we and we touched at the end of this. See if the greatest proof that we spoke about last week is that. He, he never ever feels fulfilled by that, ever. Feels fulfilled, and it's so it's 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 such an obvious. Um, it's such an obvious thing that even even somebody who's not Jewish who doesn't have an effort shall kiss. And can enjoy this this Hollywood set for for quite a amount of time, and can buy into it. Very strongly and can feel. This is it. This is the tachas of my life. The more thoughtful and and uh, introspective of the of the of the outside world, also, is left feeling a, 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 an emptiness, left with a feeling of emptiness. Not the same as a Jew, but also with a feeling of emptiness, because it's not real. Self goes off. It's not real. And 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 the person who, who who wants the truth, even though they weren't given Tari Mitzvahs, just the Sheva Mitzvahs, but Sofka Sof, there are people, there are good people from the nations of the world who are seeking to live a life of meaning and of truth. And and they they also pick up over time that this is a, that they're part of some virtual reality show. 
and and they look for some other way of finding fulfillment that's meaningful in the misgaret of Sheva Mrs. Bnei Noach, even though they might not know to sign up for the Sheva Mrs. Bnei Noach, but whatever it might be, to be charitable. Other good ways of living that they, that they, that they will look for to be able to find something in their lives because all of the types that they were indulging in, they, they didn't do it. So they don't know, they might not know about the seven mitzvahs of Bnei Noah. They, they weren't taught that, but, but, they, but they're looking for that. They're looking for that connection to something that's bigger and something that's, that's not Hollywood. <clears throat> and the more, the more thoughtful an introspective chaver from the from the umus island from the nation to the world are also uh, also come to the conclusion that this was that this that uh, that this was a movie. It wasn't it's, it's, it? Wasn't it? I'm happy to take your questions because not to call me out if you don't mind it doing. Shall I call? Let's just finish this now. Shall I call? Let's just finish this now. Shall I call? Let's just finish this now. Shall I call? Let's just finish But if the person, if the person is trying to live a life of emuna, and he and he doesn't just close his eyes for two seconds at creation a couple of times a day. But he, he's trying to live a life of a moon, a life when his eyes are open to live a life of a moon. And that life is a world that is Eino Mavadi is Baruch. It's, a, it's the real world of Eino Mavada. And to understand it, that this is, this is all, this is all in Nisayim. I once, I once, my wife and I once took the kids someplace, like a, or something and there was these like you put on these things on your eyes and then you, you you're walking and it looks like you're walking off a building it looks like you're yeah and you, you it, 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 it looks like you're mamish in a, in a different world and you feel your your whole body feels like something is like you're falling something it, it was it was very 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 strange and very interesting. Of course, I messed up the whole thing. So I'm, I'm saying all these joshes as we're there. <laughs> you know, the kids just want to have fun, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I, I was so amazed by how they, they could do that. You know, and, but that's really that's really what it is. And you you, you really feel like you're all, all of a sudden you're like you're you're in a forest, and there are animals, and and there's a, and there's this like tiger that's attacking. And you, your heart starts to, you feel like that. It's, it's, and um, it's just in this, in this dark room, you put on some glasses. And they have all this technology now. I'm sure that since then it's much more advanced. But that, <coughs> it's, it, it, it's, it, as I love you, I'm a person, that, but if you know that that's not it, and the tiger can't hurt you. If you believe that, if you believe that this is that this is reality, then it could hurt you. It could hurt you. You can, God forbid, get a heart attack or something. It could hurt you. But it, but if you don't believe in it, if you know that it's not real, then lo yuchal lo bolara. Vafam yikru lo mashu shnirara. And even if something does happen to a person that seems to be ra, seems to be bad, zelotavasa hakmura, amuna, the amuna tells the person that this is not ra, this is lotavasa hakmura, this is this is absolutely for my good. Loyagis tsarmiza, and you won't feel pained by it, you won't feel tsar. Which we've spoken about a number of times. It's brought down the Svarma Kadosha from the Kadmainim that a person is killed al Kiddush Hashem, but at that moment that he's killed al Kiddush Hashem, he doesn't feel any pain. But everything opens up. He sees what it is. 
That's one of the the uh, one of the gifts that comes with Kiddush Hashem is that even before the end of the picture, the plug is pulled out. The movie, the movie didn't end yet, but the plug is pulled out, and the person sees the end of Mulvada. And in the moment that in the moment that that's that it's that it's clear that ain't no Mulvada, there's no pain. There's no tsar at all. Because Amunah means you're living in a world that's true. And Akal Mushkach. And everything is Hashgach. This is all a wondrous thing that Hashem has created. This, this amazing uh, set, this movie. How in the same world, you have one person that's walking alone without the 3D glasses on, and he's walking through a world with a Muna, living a life of Muna. Ba'ashen, and the second guy is wearing the glasses his whole life. And Holech Verot Tava, and with his 3D glasses, he sees Tava. This is exactly what Hashem created. And gave us this Kach. You have a choice. To, to go through this world with Kriyashma, the Yichudi Yilah, and knowing that, that, this is, that this is virtual reality, and the Tachlis is the circus, is, is the Chuz and the Chuz. To follow the advertisements, and to put on the 3D glasses, and to go by the, to go, to actually believe in the, to believe in the advertisements. Because reality, the MS, is that everything is Hashem. But Hashem is concealed beneath this, this show. This is the famous Ramban at the end of Parshas Bo that he talks about. This whole dimnion. But the truth is, the Teva, nature, does not have this Koch Atzmi. There, there's no, there was no forest, there was no tiger in that, in that, in that black room that you're in someplace, in, that's in Jersey or Manhattan. There's not, there's no tiger there. It's just a, just a cheap black room that a couple of people rented in order to, Make money off of people looking for thrills. That's all it is. Just a, that's all it is. It's just a black room with nothing. Never come out begging. It's like a begging. It's like a coat. Shakasha Adam Lova Isha so Uzaz. That when you put it on, when you're wearing it, the coat is moving. You put it on, and it goes with you. And it looks like it has, it looks like it's something that has life. But the truth is, it's nothing. So if a person would be given 3D glasses, that's what they're called, I guess. Mm-hmm. Person would be given certain kind of glasses that he wouldn't that that he would go out into the street and he wouldn't be able to see any any human form. He wouldn't see any any human form. He would just see clothing. Interesting. Maybe someone could make some money like that. <laughs> he would just see clothing. So you'd walk you'd walk uh, in midtown Manhattan, on you going whatever it is on Fifth Avenue and Forty uh, Seventh uh, Street. I guess that's the time of the exchange on but so I, I remember <laughs> my uncle worked over there. So you're walking in the city, and all you see, you don't see any heads or legs, or you just see suits and coats and dresses and shirts and ties. That's all you see. A special kind of glass. I'm sure they can make that. That's all you see. So it would seem as if these these begotten have a chiyas like this. 
it would be a it would be a very scary thing to see. Coats and jackets and pants and shoes and everything just moving around all over the place, millions of them, on any city street. I don't know if the, uh, since COVID, I think probably things have come back to life over there. So it would look like it would look like they're just coats and things walking around. <coughs> but of course, they have no chiyas. It's just they're just begun. They're just levushim. They're just levushim. They're just klipas. They're just coverings. There's no mitzias of life in a coat, in a pair of pants. It's just a levushim. And the kiel she yesh lo chiyas of be'emes who atzma klum, a chiyas shiroim ba'ovi einish shalom, a shalom dem shalom is a beg. The chiyas that you see with these glasses that you see jackets and, and you see jackets and and, and coats and everything shows. It's, it's the chiyas is the is the person that's wearing it, and you take off your glasses and everybody starts laughing. This was the funniest. This was the funniest show. And it was well worth the twenty-five dollars for me to have these glasses for half hour that I rented that night. Like you, you rented the you rented the glasses for half hour. And you were you went to Central Park and all you saw were were were, were, were coats and, and shoes and things. It's, it's, it was a lot of fun. The chis is not the, the chis is not the clothing. The chis is the odom haloy veshos. Who's the person that's wearing it? Vat mechay is cool. Vat mechay is cool. Emuna emuna. Of the glasses to, to be able to see that. Therefore, if you're if you if you're in this if you're in this uh, virtual reality of the three D stuff, and then you you, you see so you, you grab one of these coats. So if it's in the city, so somebody will punch you or something. <laughs> but stop! It'll, 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 it, you'll see that it's nothing. It just falls on the ground. There's nothing there. It's like the in the it's like the uh, in the in the in the window of the store they have a dummy wearing a dress suit or something. There's nothing. There's no issue. El Hashem Hadam Chayshev Sheish Lam Kayach. But if you actually believe in this, uh, you believe in the in the movie in the in the in the, in the picture. Azayim Yichalim LeRamayso, and you could be completely deceived. And then you have the impression that the that the kilo these begadim have koach, or the tiger in the in the or the forest, whatever it is, that they actually have some koach. And then they control you. They take over your life. They control you. Years ago, one of the guys told me, or one of the guys told me, there was a famous movie. It's. I don't know the name, but there was a movie where there was a guy that he wasn't really, he was living, his whole life was like a Hollywood set. Mm-hmm. And, and that it was, his whole life was Bama's, wasn't, and there were people like in a, in a studio, there were, people in the studio were watching him. Yeah. Such a, you heard of, so the, his whole thing was 24 hours, seven, there, there were people that were watching him in a, in a, in a studio. And they had to keep like a his this whole set going. I don't know. Everything was a movie set, and it looked to him like he would go to work. And it was a, uh, I guess they were all actors. I don't know, but it was all like a. It wasn't. It was a dimion. I don't know if he gets out of it or something at the end. But he he's in it his whole life. He dies in it. But he he he's he's in this movie. His whole life he's in a movie. And he, and so his wife is not really stopping it. And he's going through all of these things yeah, in his life, and he's and and he's uh, and he has all these this anig betanugim and tzaris and tanugim in something that's just like a picture, just a, a movie that's for, for 40, 50, 60 years, whatever. I don't know he got himself into that, but it's a it's a movie. But they, so they they, but the idea is it's a chash of a marshal. It's a chash of a marshal. This is. He's, li- he, he's living in that, and it's, uh, and he, he's married in that, and his kids in that, and whatever. I don't know how they, they did that, but it's it's a it, it's a show. Now she ain't can adam she she chay be idia be here she ain't of no vado. As the ain't him karech l'ramayisod, he can't. A person who lives in in in, in ain't of no vado can't be tricked, can't be deceived. Why is 
<coughs> is to be strong. And to live in this Yudhiya Apneemus. To live in this Yudhiya Apneemus. Even, even if Chas Khalil, a person who finds himself in some horrible situation, whatever it is, he's standing in the middle. God forbid he's standing, you know, in Treblinka in 1943. Hashem Yerachem. To live with this Yediyah Pnei Mishah Kol Zerak Hashem is Mok. Lizka Shema Shani Rishayesh L'Klipas Koyach. And to remember that what it seems that the Klipas have is independent Koyach. Kilo, he's at the mercy of these Klipas. So lo Bamas. That's not the truth. Alam Kisui Ba'alma. It's a Kisui Ba'alma. It's a covering. Vidiyah Zu Atzma. And with this knowledge itself, means it takes a tremendous amount of concentration day after day, year after year with his bonus and his bodhidus to, to, to become a to become a citizen of that world of Amuna, to become someone who lives in that world of Amuna, and is able to, to laugh at all the silliness of the movie and to live a life according to According to that amuna that he has, according to Einar Mavado, lo nifte acher ha'averis v'tayvis. He's not seduced by the by the show, by the tayvis that the show is offering up. Hado mavat lo hamisakorach. He pull out the plug, and then then that's that powerful. You know, remember in the this is a movie that I, that I, I did see. We used to watch every year when we were little kids, The Wizard of Oz, right? That was like a, a big Indian to watch The Wizard of Oz. And and so there was this Wizard of Oz, and at the end there's this little old guy <laughs> that's, running a, that's running this show. I am Oz. He's just some little old guy. He pull out the plug, he says, go on the Shmagunas. It was also, uh, it was a, at the time, it was a very hush of a, a, hush of a movie. And everybody's everybody's trying to follow the yellow brick road. You remember, when you follow the yellow brick road, that's the Tivus. And you're going to you're going you're going to get to that you're going to get to this happiness. And the yellow brick road is <clears throat> whatever society is offering, culture is offering, is offering at that time. You just follow the yellow brick road, and you'll follow the yellow brick road, and and you'll and you'll and you'll get to um, you'll get to that happiness that. that and all the signs along the way. And and at the end, uh, there was the, the lion and the, and the iron man, the tin man, and, the, and all the different characters. And, the, and, the, and that coming back to a place of there's no place like home, which is the end of the movie, is coming back to a place of the moon, of, of Pneumius. The, the, the journey that you took along the Olympic road was produced. By Oz, in your imagination, I am Oz, and then when you pull out the plugs, it's gunish gunish. The whole thing is nothing, and the, and the only thing that exists is the is home sweet home. There's no place like home, which is the atzma of a person, atzma siyaisim, which is ain't of milvado. There's nothing. There's is nothing. It was also very hush of a marshal at the time. It's probably made by Jews. I don't know. It's, it's I don't the know, first time I enjoyed the movie it. review class. Yeah. First time I've ever enjoyed a movie review class. It's a shock. <laughs> yeah, well, there was a, there was a when when I was uh, probably in high school, there was this uh, there was a very popular sick person from England that was putting out these movies, Monty Python, mm -hmm. was, and uh, and these you know you remember the, in the newspapers they probably still do it, but in the newspapers when we were growing up they would have all these movie reviews. You know, they would have a, like little, a picture of something from the movie. And then they have the New York Times, and New York Post, Daily News, right? And they'd have all these reviews. The stars, five sisters, because he reminded me. So they have these reviews. So I remember the Monty Python movie, they had an advertisement in the newspaper, and it said spectacular, monumental. And then instead of saying the New York Times, it said, Rosé's Thesaurus. Just <laughs> 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 Other words in the in the thesaurus for you know the movie reviews. Well, there was also 
Think about that. What that means that these are people that they that their lives are spent reviewing movies. It's just an amazing thing. And and Akedekar um, is the koyach of this kli. And they're paid for it. They get paid, I'm and sure. Paid for it, right? Yeah, and the, and and the, and and then all the all the idiots are sitting and reading the newspaper, and they say, as they put them, they said that this is spectacular. <laughs> he said he's spe- this is spectacular, and then they and then they rate it four stars or five stars. Or five stars. It's a whole world of dimyon. It's fascinating. Really, it's fascinating. When we took the kids years ago, we went to Florida. We were, no, we were in, we were in California. We went to uh, to Disney, Disney to, to Disney. 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 Yeah, and then we went to uh, no, not Disney, Disney. Universal, Universal Studios. Studios. Yeah. Right, we went there. Yeah, remember we were, we actually were by Jeff's sister and Lorraine, and uh, we, we went to we went to uh, Universal because I was speaking there in, in Los Angeles, so uh, so we went. We took the kids there for Shabbos, and and we went. Uh, and we went to see this Universal Studios. It's unbelievable. It's so interesting. The whole, I remember they had this thing with the shark in the water. <laughs> the, the movie that sure, the shows, sure, sure, sure. and they had it, and they showed how they did it. It's fantastic. These people, the brilliant people, how they do this, and and it's all the it's all the dimmian. And look at this! Look at this book. That this there's this lady that she made money on this Harry Potter, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I never read any of them, but I see with the Inuklech and that this Harry Potter is probably the best selling children's book that was ever written. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And there's more than one. There's a whole set of them, and it's and it and it's a. What I do know is that it's a make believe world. She created some sort of a make believe world. It's a very smart lady. And the, 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 but and she goes to the bank from this whole make believe world. But here's the here's the, the deeper truth of this movie called Harry Potter. Is that the lady that wrote it? I don't know if she's still alive. The yeah, lady, yeah, the lady that the lady that wrote all of this, when she goes to the bank, that's also fiction. That's also fiction. I once mentioned to you there was a there was a, a, a very twisted. Uh, a, a writer, an American writer. I think he was American. Uh, I'm afraid to say the name of the writer in the book because I'm, somebody might say, "Well, we take a look at it, and it's not, it's not important." But there was a there was a very hush, considered to be a very hush of American writer in the 20th century. And uh, I once mentioned this to you that so he wrote he wrote this he, he wrote fiction, very very interesting, strange books, but. But uh, he was considered to be one of the one of the chashuv of the twentieth century, and and in one of his books, it's a whole story, it's all fiction, the characters, right? Interesting and engaging. He, he, he was an existentialist, and he had a lot of interesting th- thoughts and ways of writing them. All of a sudden, the so the characters the characters in the book are sitting in a bar, like uh, commiserating. About their lives, messed up lives, like that, like often is uh, among the b'nei uh, and they're sitting there in the bar commiserating, and all of a sudden somebody walks in, the bar and pulls up a chair, with the rechaver, and says, "Hey, listen, I'm actually the author of this book, <laughs> and my name is so and so." He says his he says his real name, I said, "Listen, you guys don't really exist. This is just a fiction." I'm the author of this book. And he says, look, here, like, like here are my, here's the manuscript, and here's the, this is, this is nothing. You don't exist. And the, then the stories about like how the Shvir Zakelem that the, that the Chaver had, the guys in the bar. And, you know, he was proving to them that this is, this is just something that I'm writing. That's all. So the author paid a visit. You know, so Nevoa, there were times in history where the author paid it, paid us a visit. You know, Nisa miracle. And, and, and the author pays a visit and says, "Listen, Chaver, this is, this is you're on you're on a, a on a set. This is what it is." And the author pays a visit. That's that's a that's a miracle. That's a nice. That's a nice. 
Let me just finish another few sentences. Was it Omeka Skula? A Yidua me Hanef Shechayim. Mo'od Tzadikim. This is the famous Skula. From Hanef Shechayim. You have to be such a person to be able to use this. And there was the story of the Biskarov. Uh, or other Tzadikim, they used this. Shebeis Tzarach Mar Lashlan. That when it's a time, God forbid, of Tzarus. Odam Yachshu V'Yisrakes Be'emes Amit Desheino Bavada. A person is able to be in that place of ain od malvada mamish in his mind and not to be distracted for a second. This is how the Biskarov crossed through the border, and his son Rabarol, Zechzak the Rache, Rabarol Salvevich said over how his father told him because they came to a place where there was a whole thing how they escaped. They came to a place where they were they were Gestapo, and and this was the, like the last place they had to get through. To to. Uh, Going to Switzerland again, I think, to get out, and and uh, and his father said, "Hold on to me, and 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 don't stop thinking for a second. Ain't no movado, ain't no movado." He that was an from the Nefshchaim from the from the family. They had that Kabbalah, and uh, and the Baruch said that that they walked. They just he said, "Just don't answer anything. Do you hear people talking? Don't listen. Just ain't no movado." And and they walk through. That they just walk through. The Belgians are everywhere. Huh? The Belgians are everywhere. But, but, but it's the same and thing. The Nazis, they didn't see the car. They did. They, Mamish didn't see him in the car. Mamish didn't see the, the Belgians are everywhere. Barrel also. Right. So on. It's it's something that you have to be such a, a tzaddik to be able to be in that place where, where you're not thinking about how this is. I'm thinking about this to get out of trouble. Just to be completely to swim in, the, in that, in the Elokus of Enel Movado. Because then it's, and it's, it's the little guy, I am Oz. And it's, it's finished, the clip is done. There's no Gestapo, there's no fence, there's no nothing, there's nothing. Much. It's very, very, very hard. And it can't control you. They cannot control you. That's why when it comes down to it, as I said last week, when a person has, uh, a, a, either it's an addiction or an obsession of some sort with something, at the end of the day, the, 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 the way to get past that monster is, is, it has to be in your mind. It has to be something in your mind. You have to change your way of thinking. You could try to find all the artificial ways to keep that... Uh, monster away from you. It has to be a change in your way of thinking. It, it doesn't work the other way. It doesn't work. So, you, you know, don't go to any kiddush. Because you'll see some schnapps. It just doesn't work. It has to be, it has to be a, a complete alteration of how you look at reality. Which is what the 12 steps are about. It has to be a different way of looking at reality. And you have to come to a place of emmas. In your head, so that so that you could you could pass a bottle of schnapps and it doesn't it doesn't you don't end up you don't end up uh, on the floor in your bathroom throwing up. It has to be a different a different way of thinking. It's not uh, it's, you can't stop the world from selling schnapps. And those people that have worse addictions or worse addictions that when it comes to things chalil of arayas. So then it's even more complicated because the person's married and he wants to have a normal marriage with his wife, but he can't have the he can't have the bad stuff that he looked at and his, the movies and the things, and images. And, but they say, but he can't. It's not like schnapps where he's, he can't have any schnapps. He just wants to have a regular life with his wife. So he has to change his way of thinking. Guy can, guy can stop smoking a cigarette, so physically he stays away from the cigarette. Physically he stays away from the from the schnapps. See, and, and, they give him, and he takes all kinds of methods to avoid the schnapps, to avoid the cigarette. He doesn't go to a room where there's any smoking, or he doesn't go to a kiddush, or to go to the shamsach, whatever it is. And he keeps himself physically away. But when it comes to the Indian, you know, let's say, when it, this other stuff, which I don't, can't talk about, the, but the Indian, when it comes to intimacy, so he wants to have a regular normal life. So he's a married person. He wants to have a normal, healthy life. 
where the Gavar Shalom wants, this should be a yichud. And, 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 and he's got, so you can't, it's not like the cigarette that you can physically stay away from. But even with the cigarette and, this, and, the, and the drink, it's, it's also, and not, it's not a tikkun, but tikkun has to be. Eino Dvavada. It has to be a tikkun in the head, in your way of looking. You have to go to a higher place inside of yourself. If it's not a person of of of, of, of Yamuna, then, it, then it's a, it's a higher place of on that person's madrega of a, a yichud that's higher than this than this phony misrepresentation of reality that's telling you that this is what's going to make you happy. Being unfaithful to your wife, God forbid, and looking at this picture, or going to this thing, and you have to go to a place of creation to be able to get out of that. Ultimately, you have to know that it's Shekir. And then the whole thing is nothing. But there has to be a tikkun in their head. If, the, if you don't think any differently, you're just trying to artificially stay out of that scene in the movie, or that studio. It doesn't, it doesn't. It can work for some time, it can help you a little bit, make things a little bit. But at the end of the day, he's still walking around. On the, uh, he's still walking around in Hollywood. So you go from this set to a different studio, another studio. So when you drive around over there, it says studio this, studio this, studio that. And you walk in, and here you got this show, here you got that show. I mean, I don't, that's how it used to be. There, there different studios, and they have numbers on them. And you walk in. This is here. This shows. Here's Gilligan's Island. Here's Hogan's Heroes. And here's Get Smart. I don't know what he's in. He's a, he's a different studios. You walk in here. Is they're on a, they're on, a, on an island. You walk in the other place over here. There, there, there's some place in Chais in Detroit. I don't know. It's it's all. And you go from one studio to the next, but until you come to this, until you come to this Yehudi Ilah, where you're standing outside this whole place and you see this is this is Universal Studios. This is not it. It's not. It's not a, a tropical island, and it's not the Adams family or the monsters or whatever. It's, 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 a, it's not Transylvania. It's, it's, this is just a, a big, a big, a big sale of something. That's all. Is that? Yes, David. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Very good. Too difficult to go back. Okay, that was my hope. <laughs> <laughs> I could. I, uh, okay, Moshe, you want to say that? Okay, let's go down. Well, you saw the, uh, just saw the sticker there. That's, that's what we put on all the. Uh, so nice. Yeah, so nice. Very, very sweet. So, 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 so